Praise the Lord, everybody. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All you saints of the Lord, praise the Lord. Wherever you are, praise the Lord. Every soul, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, oh Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you, Lord, we bless you, and we bless you, Lord, Lord, we bless you, and we bless you, Lord, Lord, we bless you, and we bless you. Abba Father, Abba Father, Abba Father, oh Abba Father, Abba Father, we worship you, Lord, we worship you. We exalt you, Lord, we worship you. And we worship you, Lord, we worship you. And we worship you. Jesus, we are here. Father, we are here. Holy Spirit, we are here. We are here for you, Almighty God. We are here, ever living God. We are here, Holy Spirit, we are here. We are here for you, Jesus. We are here, ever living God. We are here, Master Jesus. We are here. We are here for you. I say, what shall I say unto my God? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto my God? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. I say, thank you, Lord. I say, thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. I say thank you, Lord. I say thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. God is able, abundantly able, to deliver and to say, my God is able, abundantly able to deliver those who trust in it. My God is able, yes, is able, abundantly able to deliver and to say, my God is able. Abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him. I say, come and see the light, the light of the world. Jesus, you are the light, oh, hello, hello. Come and see the light, the light of the world. Jesus, you are the light, oh, hello, hello. What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O Lord? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, my God? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O Lord? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, my God? I come on my way. I come on my way. for Jafun me. Ma je kin ja lule le yire oluwa pon mi oluwa fo ja fun mi a pon mo ma we ni a pon mo ma we ni pon mi oluwa fo ja fun mi 
Ma je kin jalu le le yire oluwa. Mami oluwa fo ja fun mi. Somebody wherever you are, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. From the continent of Asia, from the continent of Africa, from the continent of Australia, if you live in Antarctica, as cold as the day is, hallelujah. If you live in North and South America, if you come from Europe, may the Lord hear you and answer your prayers today. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we're here again. We thank you, omnipotent, omnipresent, omnicovenant keeper. You alone, you are worthy, Lord. Because without you, we are nothing. You are the Lord, and that is your name. You live forever, you reign forever. Father Lord, as we surrender to you this morning, or this evening, wherever you are, or this night, wherever you are, before you go to bed, doing your night vigil, may the Lord hear you. May the Lord answer you. May the Lord do something new in your life in the name of Jesus. May he cause his face to shine upon our knees in the name of Jesus. And may he cause his face to pardon all of our iniquities. And that blood that will never lose his strength. That blood that does not stain. May he be a source of atonement to purify, to purge us, to make us whole again in the name of Jesus. Because unrighteousness cannot, it cannot dwell with God. May we have a new beginning. And it says in Isaiah 20, 65, 24, it says before we say a word, before we even pray, he has heard and he has answered. Therefore, Father, not minding who we are, just for the sake that we are calling upon you and we're gathering in your name and we're talking about you and your word of promise, never leave us or forsake us. Let there be a new beginning in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, it's not by power, it's not by mind. You give those you, you will it to give. We have, we have done 24 hours for seven days. Ah, fasting and praying, and praying for 24 hours, we have done it. The Lord is our strength, and we're still standing. May there be difference in our lives in the name of Jesus. And those that we pray for, the whole universe, may there be changes in the world in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our Savior and the Holy Spirit with healing in their hands. May they visit the four corners of the, all nations of the world and let there be deliverance in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Jesus' name. Not as we will, but thy will be done. And at your appointed time, do something new in every nations of the world yes you can do it and we that are praying father fix us as you desire and all for the glory of your name in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name amen father lord we thank you again be in our midst be the center of this gathering and never let our life remain at the same father Remember, we are your sons and daughters, the work of your hand. You created us a little less than the angels because you are God and out of love. That your compassion never let it fail us. And what we will do for you to fail us, separate it from our life. Reign and rule in every corner. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I love the man. Of Calvary, of Calvary, for he has done me very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Calvary, of Nazareth. I love the man of Nazareth, of Nazareth, for he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Nazareth. Oh, Father, we love you. If not for your love, we won't be here today. We thank you. And as we continue being in this gathering, do a new thing in our Israel, the ears of a hearer, 
Oh Lord, let it do something new in there. Be heart of a learner. You be the center in the name of Jesus. Praising the Lord. Always, always praising my God. Always praising my God with my heart and soul. Praising my God with all my heart. Oh, we, hallelujah, he is so good. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, you are so good. So good to me. Hallelujah, my God is good. Hallelujah, he is so good. Hallelujah, my God is good. He's good to me. Lift him up higher. I say, lift him up higher. My God is good. I will lift him up higher. Every day of my life, I will lift him up higher. Everybody lift him up higher. Will you lift him up higher? Sisters lift him up higher. Brothers lift him up higher. Grandmas lift him up. Grandpa lift him up. I everybody lift him up. My God is good. I will lift him up. Yeah, everywhere I go, I will lift him up. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. May Hey, every heart on stone when they hear you this morning, you melt them. Bring them closer to you. And let them be like Paul the Apostle. He was slaughtering, he was slaughtering Christians. <laughs> ah, he, even got, he, he went, he received a death threat letter to go and come, go, go and commit more murder in, in Damascus. On his way to Damascus, you visited him. <laughs> Every heart of stone after today, let there be changes. In the name of Jesus. And <laughs> Paul the murderer. Jesus called him Brother Paul. And he told him, Brother Paul, he can use anything. Ah, may the Lord continually use us in the name of Jesus for his glory and not for, for destination of hell fire. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. He became the best of the apostles. Are you ready for a change? May the Lord hear us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go. We're going into the world, and then we're going to prayers. Let somebody come with me to the book of Matthew 8, 26. Matthew chapter 8, verse 26. Hmm. I don't know your story. Ah, many of us, we go through a lot. But right now, I don't know your story. Open with me to the book of Matthew 8, 26. Matthew 8, 26. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew 8, 26. Matthew 8, 26. Hallelujah. Matthew 8, 26. If nobody is reading, I'm going to read myself. And quick, 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 because we need to pray more. Amen. Doesn't matter where you are. Open your app. If that is all you have, it is well. Open your Bible if you have one. Even if you want me to send you, buy you a Bible and mail it to you, I will be glad to do so. Okay? May the Lord hear and answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm opening to the book of Matthew right now. Matthew chapter 8, and I'm reading from verse, verse 26. And it says, before then, let me start so you can have a clear understanding of where we're going. And when... He entered into a ship. His disciples followed him. We are all the followers of Christ, disciples. Amen. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea. A great tempest arose. That ship can be a representation, even your home. It can be a community. It can be the whole universe. It can be the whole world. It can happen in any nation. You hear me? It's all a parable for us to exploit and use it wisely. So there arose a tempest in the small that the ship was covered with the waves, and there was wave, tempest and wave. 
went away, but he was asleep. You think the keeper of your Israel sleep or slumbers? No. <laughs> he was trying to examine where they are in the Lord. He was asleep, really. And the disciple came to him and they woke him up. He wasn't sleeping. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't slumber. And say, Lord, save us. Oh, we perish. We will not perish in the name of Jesus. The situation in the world <laughs> that the powers of this world brought upon our lives. There has never been a situation like this since I've been since I've been growing up. No, years now. I'm closer to 70 than anything else. So if nothing like this happened since I was born, that I have I didn't. I have no memory of it. There is nothing. Mm -mm. The influence that came in the early sisters, it affected my junior brother. But he's alive today. He didn't die. But he wasn't killing people like this. Who are you, COVID virus? The Lord will terminate your, your spang in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this is a tempest for our days. Are you there, brothers and sisters? This is a tempest for our days. This is waves for our days. This coronavirus is waves for our days. And it was so much that they have to call on Jesus. Have you called on him lately? Have you called on the Lord lately? Have you asked him to rescue you from coronavirus? You are your household. Even your neighbor, your friend, your enemies too. Have you called upon the Lord? When was the last time you prayed? And the disciple came to him and they woke him up and said, they are perishing. We will not perish. Coronavirus is killing us. It's over in the name of Jesus. The Lord will take over from today. He will hear and answer us. But we need to be available to, to claim it in faith and it will be established. Everyone in the Bible that the Lord was able to rescue from one illness or the other is because they have faith that with Jesus, when they meet Jesus at the right place, at the right location, he will answer them and he will resolve their issues. Are you ready today? This is the right opportunity for you to tap into the powers of God, to tap into the things of God for redemption of your soul. And they woke him up. And we waking him up this morning with our prayers, with learning the word. We are waking the power of Trinity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And guess what? When they woke him up, he said, <laughs> and he said unto them, Why are you fearful? If the Lord is for you, my brothers and sisters, my viewers, even those that are yet to acknowledge Lord as Lord and Savior, uh, those that are yet to declare him Lord and Savior, and yet to accept him, hear the word of God this morning. And he said, O oh, ye of little faith, uh -uh, your faith, if even if it is a little, as a grain of a mustard seed, that is sufficient for God to build on, to help you, to heal you. In faith, Bethlehem you received a sight. He said, Jesus of Nazareth, that I could receive my sight back. And it was not go and come back, go bring a cow or dog or goat. No, mm -mm -mm. it was instant. Amen. Have you prayed and God will hear you instantaneously? Have you done it? Yes, it's with us. The power is in you. The power is in me to exercise it to the glory of God, not to do evil. Have you prayed for the dead to rise and say, glory be to God? Jesus came to the tomb of Lazarus. That was the wave in Lazarus' life. That was the tempest in Lazarus' life. After four days. And four days was too late for us, not for God. 
38 years it was too long for us, not for our God. You hear me, sisters and brothers? 38 years was too long for the man at the pool of Bethesda, but not too long for God. They entered the ship, it wasn't 24 hours. They lost it already. Where is our faith in the Lord? That he will do what he says he will do. Amen, brothers and sisters. Where is your faith? Where is my faith? When God says it, he does it. It's not a feeling, God. Then, when he saw they have a little faith, eh? it wasn't sufficient to rebook that storm. It wasn't sufficient to stop this coronavirus. It wasn't sufficient to let people come to Christ and be saved. Listen, God can do something about this coronavirus, but it's waiting for you and it's waiting for me to have that power to believe that he will happen, to run to him in prayers and fasting. You hear me? He doesn't sleep or slumber. He could do it and silent every power in this world and reject them and rebook them. But we have to be available. Come to Christ this morning. He will hear you. He will surprise you. Ah, I'm living because he lives. Because he lives. I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. Oh, fear is gone. And now I know he owns my future. And life is what I live in just because he lives. Because he lives. Because he lives. I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. My fears are gone, and now I know he owns my future. And life is what I'm living just because he lives. But you have to be available for him to help you. You need to declare him Lord and Savior for him to hear you and answer you. So he arose and rebuilt the wind and the sea, the wind and the sea. He rebuilt the tempest and the waves. And there was a great calm. Come to the Lord. Come and taste of him. And know that the Lord is God. Amen. He will heal your economy. He will heal our economy in the whole world. Because the poor are getting poorer. He will heal jobs. He will heal, hallelujah, broken homes. He will heal our health. It will restore businesses. It will restore jobs. Amen. It will be our provider. Good health and long life it will use to satisfy us. Just believe. Have faith that all will be well. And there will be recovery of everything that is lost in the world. I know those who are rich are getting richer because they are not affected. But those of you that are still struggling, that are homeless because of this. Come to the Lord. You may be doubting that what coming to God we're going to do for me. you got to try. Come to the Lord with all your heart full of praise and thanksgiving. Whatever your situation, he has a final say. Amen. Open to the book of Luke chapter 8, 15. Quick, quick, quick. Luke chapter 8, 15. Matthew, Mark, Luke. Chapter 8 and verse 15. Luke 8, 15. And as I've been preaching, don't let me preach in vain. You remember the parable of the sower. And now in verse 15, those that got on good ground are those with honesty and good heart. Do you have that good heart this morning to receive the word of God, for it to be a lamp into your darkness, for him to change your ways, for him to have let you have a new beginning in life, for everything you'll ever lose to be replaced in a hundredfold, the days of the caterpillar, cankerworm, the palmer worm, the, 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 the canker worm that they have eaten in your life, the losses you have experienced, the Lord is here. He will send you a great army.
to restore you and your home. Your hope will be brought alive in Jesus' name. And those are the ones that had this word this morning and they receive it with good heart. Amen. They were honest. They receive it with good heart. Having heard the word this morning, they keep it and bring, and it's going to bring fruit in your heart. Faith, the first catalyst for you and your prayers to be answered. You have faith. It's always available to hear us and answer us. With faith, hear me, they will bring forth fruit and with patience. Don't say, well, I fasted, fasted, fasted. I prayed, I prayed. It's humanly, okay? But it's heavenly to have faith. And wait patiently for God. As he has promised, it doesn't fail. In the book of Abagog, three and three. At this appointed time, he will make good his promise for your life. Amen. His ears are never, never hardened. He hears. His eyes are never blind. No. He sees all our struggles. And he has the answer as well. He knows us before we were in our mother's womb. Ever before we were born. He knows us. He knows us by our names. What a great love. Amen. How much more growing up? You think it's by your power? Or I think it's by my power that I was able to, to, to survive the tempest of this world growing up? What about ceremonial food we were fed? Eh? <laughs> Sacrifice to idol. And they will give you the feet of a, of, a, 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 of a chicken. The wing of a chicken. They will call it Sarah. <laughs> I don't know the word in English. But they are called ceremonial food. It's not by your power or my power we survive it. The Lord is doing great in our life, but we got to be available. Come with me to Matthew 6, 33. Matthew chapter 6, 33. Matthew 6, 33. And it says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, that's what we're trying to do this morning. We're seeking the kingdom of God. We're seeking through prayers, through gathering, through him being the center this morning, through making him your testimony, and his testimony will never fail you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. May that righteousness, may he put us with that blood and water and make us whole and whole again in Jesus' name, and make us capable of receiving his testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. And all these things shall be added. Whatever you ask in his name, he will add it on. John 14, 14. Anything you ask in his name, they will all be added unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lastly, come to the book of Isaiah. It will change your story this morning. You will, your life will never remain the same. But what is the catalyst of prayer being answered? Faith, patience, endurance, tolerance, that is long suffering. The fruit of the Spirit. As it's written in Galatians 5.22. Amen. Love. Even loving your enemies. But know the God you serve, and do not be carried away by this world. Isaiah 59 and 19. So, what is your story? Coronavirus is destroying many homes. It renders so many homes homeless. It rendered desolate, isolated, deserted. You hear me? Many are still struggling in the hospital. Have you observed the right thing? Believing, they told us social distancing. Social distancing when you are in a gathering. Physical distancing, even when you are speaking to your friends. 
your mask do you put it on when it's essential do you have your gloves on do you wash your hands in between activities when you use the bathroom before you touch your food do you do you wash your hands don't say one winter is the one causing you trouble what about when you don't listen and when you don't do things right obedience hello don't say one witch oh. don't be the witch of yourself and the witchcraft is destroying yourself learn to listen this helps if you don't like the westernized one because it's refined the herbs don't deceive yourself <laughs> when you eat pepper the first thing is for it to bear leaves and then the fruit, pepper of different kind. Don't deceive yourself oh, that, oh, me, I don't use herbs. You are <laughs> deceiving yourself. When you eat fruits, those are herbs. You eat guava, you love mango, you love cassava, whatever you love. Huh? Those are all from herbs and the fruits of the herbs. You're deceiving yourself. Me, I don't take medicine. This is our medicine. It's just that we have to cook some. Some, we make it like tea. Listen and do what is right to get healed. And sometimes you can try lemon from lemon tree. Sisters, brothers, you can steam it. Put it in your tea. Prophylactically, do what is right. Don't open yourself up to destruction, to waves of life, mm -hmm. to tempest. I've never seen anything. Everybody wearing mask, be obedient, do same. The mask you are wearing is not for you to cross contaminate. It's, it's for you to prevent yourself from cross contaminating your friends, your neighbors your family members, your co-workers, in case they have it. And if you have it, do the right thing. It doesn't kill, except we are careless and we are disobedient. Therefore, from today, finally, hear the word of God. Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord. Every illness, every disease from today, they will fear the name of your God in the name of Jesus, if you believe there is God. Because in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, 4, 5, some are claiming they are God. No, those are many God. God called them. They're not God. <laughs> he said in verse 6, hallelujah. He said, I am the only true God, and I created heaven and earth. What have you created? Do you own the heaven and earth? We have to be careful. Please, God, hey, visit us with his wrath and anger. Habakkuk 3 2 says, Father, on your day of that wrath, please remember your mercy because it's a compassionate God. Are you ready for that compassionate God to see to your issues? Amen. Therefore, Isaiah 59, 19, if you belong to God, those who fear the name of the Lord from the West and the glory from the rising of the sun East. Hallelujah. When the enemy, hey, when illness, diseases, powers will come. Like a flood. Look at the flood we're experiencing. Coronavirus is the flood we are experiencing in the world today. God has promised. He has promised. He will never fail. I will follow you. I will follow you. 
My God has promised He will never fail. His faithfulness is forevermore. God's faithfulness is forevermore. He has promised. He said today, listen carefully. He said, when the enemy will come like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up his standard. He shall rise up with healing in his hand. He will raise his standard against them. In the name of Jesus. What is your story? Have you declared Lord and Savior? Have you, have you asked him a helper? My helper, oh, a helper. We're going into prayers. A helper, oh, you are my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence. I have a living God, my living God, a hero God, you are my hero. There is something that makes me come into your presence. A hero God, a healer, oh, you are my healer, oh. a healer, oh, you are my healer, oh. there is something that makes me come into your presence, a healer, oh. let's go into prayers, begin to confess your sins, you know what, don't lose God to anybody, open your heart, open your mind, so you can receive this money. Begin to pray. Tell it to him. He delivered Paul and Silas. He would deliver us from the yoke of sin, from every, every affliction. He would deliver us in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to honor God. Begin to worship him. Tell him to forgive your trespasses and create in you a new heart. To purify you and make you over in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Jehovah. Jehovah, we praise you. And I praise you, Lord. Jehovah, we praise you. And I praise your name. I praise your name. Jehovah. Jehovah, Jehovah, I praise you, and I praise you, Lord, Jehovah, I praise you, and I praise your name, I praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, I praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Now, what is the tempest and the wave? Hey, in your marriage, in your children, in your own life, in your businesses, in your job. What is the tempest? We all know about coronavirus. It's the tempest. It's the wave. Invading the privacy of every nation. Of the world let's pray for deliverance in the name of jesus believe in and it shall be done pray for continent of africa asia australia authentic even though mostly it's, it's people doing research that were in there we want their safety pray for europe pray for north and south america for deliverance let god arise and remove and rebuke coronavirus but you gotta ask in faith i believe yes lord i believe i say yes lord i believe it is well with me in jesus name i believe yes lord i believe i say yes lord i believe 
it is well with me there will be no more sorrow i believe yes lord i believe i say yes lord i believe it is well with me in jesus name i believe yes lord i believe i say yes lord i believe it is well with me there will be no more sorrow i believe yes lord i believe i say yes lord i believe it is well with me father you rebuke wings you rebuke the sea and there was a great calm let the world become of this coronavirus heal every corner of the world and heal your people Heal my home, heal my children, my husband, and the entire world. Heal us, change our stories, and let in faith, let us receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Luke 8, 15, what did he say? This prayer, O oh Lord, pray that this prayer of today, the world should become a lamp unto your path. This prayer today, let it fall in pleasant places with your creator for your prayers to be answered. And so you see you are receiving the word. You want to keep it. May it be permanent and do exploit in our life. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. He's done it for so many. Those who believe, even those who did not believe, he gave them a sign. Look at it. Zachariah, he was a great priest. When the Lord told him, your wife will be pregnant and will have a baby boy. It's like, huh? At this old, this woman is so old, baby. Are you gonna receive the word and keep it to bring fruit, to bring forth fruit in your life, even if you are still, you are still battling your faith, whether to receive it, whether to keep it. Just try today. Pray for God to be your helper. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray to turn you around to do exploits in your life. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Zechariah, you know the sign God gave him? He said, <laughs> until the boy is born, you're gonna be dumb. You're not gonna be able to speak. Yeah, you know what it is for nine, nine, nine months? Hey, Jehovah. Until the boy is born, John the Baptist. God pardoned Zechariah finally on the day, eighth day, when they asked him, What is the name of your baby, Mr. Uh, uh, Prophet Zechariah? He said, Bring wave to them, bring it up, let me write. The God gave him that privilege. This God, don't tempt God, though. <laughs> He's not a respecter of our ways, He doesn't respect us because our ways are not his ways. Just pray that God should visit you and direct your path from today. Give you an opportunity to trust in him so that when you call upon him, he will hear an answer. It may be patiently. We do it at his appointed time. It's spoken in the book of Habakkuk 3.3. At his appointed time, it will move good. It will make it good. His promise for your life. Begin to pray that God should not desert you, should not leave you. Give you the opportunity to embrace Him, to build your faith upon Him. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. There will be no more COVID. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. I say, yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. There will be no more deaths. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. I say, yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. There will be no more sorrow. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. I say, yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. He touched my life with his hands, my life changed. He touched my life with his hands, my life remained the same no more. 
Jehovah touched my life with his hand. My life changed. It will touch you today. It will touch my life today. It will touch our foundation that are rocky. It will do a new exploit for us. It will do a new thing for our Israel. Our life will never remain the same. God of the Israelites. He will bring something to curb us, to draw us nearer, nearer to the Father. You hear me? Like he did in St. Pharaoh <laughs> as a weapon to deal with his children so they can believe. It took them how many donkey years to believe? It was a journey of 40 days. Tell Papa God, a journey of 40 days, not to be a healing of 40 days, not to be a healing of 40 years. Begin to pray, you don't understand. Ah, ah, a journey that your testimony should be fulfilled before the end of this year. May he never be in 40 years in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Let this word of this morning be a lamp onto your path, healing, a catalyst to quicken your recovery from wherever you are going through. In the name of Jesus, amen. Matthew 6, 33. We are seeking for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Anything we need to survive, whatever is going on in the world, may the Lord add it unto us this morning. Pray in the name of Jesus. He answers patience is all we need. It said it. I need patience. It had us. And we need patience. We need to keep it and keep using it in patience and he will do his own thing at his appointed time you don't want to rush god you don't want to ask in vain you don't want to ask amidst may god hear us and do what he says he will do god who honors his name above his he honors his word above his name psalm 138 verse 2 may he hear us this morning and do something great in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Not just our lives. I mean the four corners of the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And lastly, Isaiah 59, 19. When powers come to take our joy away. When they come like a flood. When powers come to take my joy away. He holds my life in his hand. When sorrows come to take my joy away, he holds my life in his hands. Amen. Tell him to make you the apple of his eyes, who can touch you, to declare you untouchable for powers and principalities, for illness and diseases, for him to raise his standard. Begin to pray. Pray, sisters. Pray for everyone, not just yours. Sometimes leave your problem, just dump it on the cavalry and pray for others. He will do it. Father, do it. Come and do it for us. Do it. You will do it for us. We have tried. No one did it for us. We believe you are a miracle God. Do it. You will do it for us. Do it. Come and do it for me. And I am glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. And I belong to my God. Are you glad you belong to Jesus? You belong to Jesus. And you belong to your God. May the Lord hear and answer us. The Lord, God of miracles. May he do something new in our life to bring our hope and our faith alive in him. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Have you prayed lately? Have you testified that he is Lord? He is Lord. 
He is Lord, amen. He has risen from the dead, he is Lord. That power of resurrection, may there be a new beginning again in our lives. In the name of Jesus, the power he brought Lazarus alive again, everything destroyed by coronavirus, may there be restoration in the whole four corners of the world again, in the name of Jesus. Among our leaders, may they do right, may the Lord fix them. Faith to lead us on, arise in the name of Jesus. What is your story? Have you preached the gospel? You don't need to know nothing to, play, to please God, but you have to have faith. When you use his word, it's a weapon for you. Mm -hmm. When you call upon him, that word of promise of God is alive. His benefits that are uncountable, it will satisfy us in Jesus' name. And lastly, work of evangelism. Who have you saved with this mouth? Mm. Or are you destroying? Have a change of heart, a new beginning in the Lord. Believe him, he will restore you. Seek ye this morning the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else you need. They are added unto you. And so shall it be for me and my household. Join me next week, same time. Coming from Africa, you could add five. It will be 4 p.m. If you are from East Africa, like Sudan, join me plus seven. It will be 6 p.m. If you're coming from continent of Asia, plus 10 and a half hours, it was almost your bedtime. Join me and be blessed. Make it, do use it as your night vigil. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Where else are you coming from in the world? add your time zone to New York time in America. People in Europe, plus five. It is well in Jesus' name. Some, it could be plus six for you. Come accordingly and be blessed. See you next week, Sunday same time. May you testify to the goodness of God. Remember, faith is your catalyst. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Bye now. I'm going to start a watch party. Join me if you have a minute. And God bless you. And if you don't have a minute, visit me. I'm going to put it on YouTube. It is well with you. And you'll be highly blessed from today and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Shalom. Peace. Amen.